After we finish the complete Alpha Cool core lineup in its 120mm form factor, now it's time to tackle the 140mm ones. Starting with the core 140 spinning at up to 2000 rpm, whilst pushing 103.03 CFM at up to 2.81 mm of H2O. Not bad indeed, but let's get straight to the benchmark. Holy damn, that form factor has one hell of an impact on the fan's performance, allowing it to spin up to 2000 rpm in our case almost heatsink benchmark, the, that damn thing was capable of, of letting the CPU heat up to 42.4 degrees C above ambient, that's only 0.2 degrees of margin of error behind the much much faster spinning 120 mm 3000 rpm model. Overall it's actually one hell of a result, outperforming things like the Silent Wing 4140 high speed and Arctic P14 ARGB. It's it's really really freaking good. Damn, I'm I'm actually surprised about this one. But what about the noise? Well, uh, damn. Although the noise to performance ratio wasn't quite as good as for the Alpha Cool Core 120 and 4000, which again had a different design for some reason. Uh, a reason I am uh, quite sure about, but ignoring that for a second, it completely blew away the Core 120 spinning at 3000 RPM. And actually, this ratio is not bad at all. Sure, the higher spinning end is a bit on the loud side, but once you turn it down, it actually beats the P12. It's its noise to performance ratio beat the P12 at some point. Wow, the first Alpha Core core to beat an Arctic P12 in noise. It's that's good. But what's more interesting is the enormous performance overhead. In the end, the slowest spinning 140 model was able to make it into the upper third of our benchmark chart, which is a good job, Alpha Core. But let's get back to the fan. Just like every other core fan, this thing is core to the max. A white box, no screws, no design, nothing. The fan, all black, no design, nothing. No optical features and even the placeholder for the rubber is gone. All we are left with is a plain black fan with a 40 cm long PVM cable. Core. The name says what you are getting. Core and nothing more but core performance and that's really it. But hey, at least we are back to the hydraulic bearing. The wing design is also a bit different for the 140mm form factor. This time we are getting an 11 relatively thin wing design, but funnily enough the central piece is just 1mm bigger. So most of what you are actually getting here is wing area, which is, which is good and really not always the case. On the build quality side, it's slightly underneath the 120mm version. The outer structure can withstand my aggressive bending, however due to the form factor and that there are less reinforcements it's it's just slightly easier to bend it as the 120. It just feels slightly weaker but in the end it's still strong enough to be treated like a P14. But in the end it's basically what you are signing up for with this fan. It comes with literally nothing, like bring your own screws, nothing, but goddamn it can perform. A small note that I really need to make again, each and every core fan that I had on my benchmark machine needed to be pressed back together, you remember, like oof. Not that the wing would fly off, but it made a hella weird noise and it made that noise until I gave it that firm oof. But once that's done, the noise was, was gone. Uh, I have no clue why, probably a machining issue, but I really don't care. It's unnecessary, it shouldn't happen, 
it should never happen and somebody needs to look into this. So quality wise, it's okay for what you are signing up for. With that little oomph, it's okay. Performance wise, god damn. But it's only as good because of that damn price. At $7.99, this is a joke. Sure, that thing is loud at max speed, that's really undeniable, but it's not that loud anymore. And once you turn the speed down, you are better off than with things like an P12. So it's it's really not that bad for the price of a Big Mac. So for who is this thing? Well, everybody who is willing to sacrifice everything for raw performance at a cheap price tag. It's, it's really that simple. Nothing more, nothing less. But okay, this should be it for AlphaCool and their Core 140 at 2000 RPM. And if you are looking to see how it performs on top of a radiator, well, we still need a tiny bit more because I uh, bench record all of these videos, so uh, this batch will be made without the radiator testing but we are almost done and once we are done we will have a ton of data on a side note we also have a discord server so if you want to join the link is down below and of course we still have channel membership so if you're looking for a good way to sell your soul for an og poop emoji that's a pretty good damn way to go additionally can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat but it will also serve to get an ear operation because the earplugs that uh, we could afford thanks to adsense alone did not protect me enough from what big daddy did to me. I had it coming. Anyway, thank you for watching and if you want to continue, have a look at our take on the Big Daddy Core. Hope to see you on the next one. Bye bye.